I'm going to harvest the sweet potatoes. So I knew, well, I know that I said that I'd probably leave it right to the last minute, but uh, I guess I'm a little bit impatient, but also, yeah, it's, it's the 16th of September and I've got like a week and a half, not even that. Well, yeah, probably a week and a half to get everything moved. And I'm sure that there'll be loads of things that I need to get done that I, I'm not even considering. So uh, I thought this is something that I know needs to get done and I think I'll do it now. So yeah, so look, you can see down there, if it focuses, there we go. You can see the sweet potato. Um, so there were three plants and you can see that they've, they've covered this area and then they've gone underneath the, um, the runner beans and they're coming out this side. You can see here, sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes. <laughs> um, so they're done pretty well. So I, I did harvest the, the, the ones that were over there. Uh, I harvested them about a week ago. I, I did film it, but I don't think I posted it. Um, because I just had a lot going on with the rescue dog and everything. Um, and I'm going to harvest the one that I've got in a pot in the greenhouse probably later today. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll try and show you the end result of all of the sweet potatoes to put together. So anyway, let's get digging. Okay, guys, so I've got a good feeling about this because just gently, gently lifting with the fork and then just gently removing some of the soil with my hands. You can see there's like a really big tuber here and then a big like blob of tubers here. Because this is one plant. Actually, I might be able to lift it now. This is one of the plants. I had three. You can see the base of the plant is there. I might be able to lift this whole thing out with my hand. It's quite good actually, because I planted it in like a slight raised mound. The soil is quite light and easy to... Okay. Okay, cool. So I think that's it. Um, I just sh shake some of the soil off. Wow, look at that. That is a sweet potato. Really, really beautiful pink. I'm just going to pull this plant and see. Wow. <laughs> look, how, look how huge this plant is. Okay. okay, plant number two. So, a log shaped one there, and then a huge, like, spherical one. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty happy with that. I think one of the problems that I did do with these ones is I, I remember when I planted them, I, I let bits of the stem root so actually you can see there there's that bit of the stem that's also sent out roots and you can see that there's they're kind of slightly thickened up so it's like they were almost going to form some sweet potatoes on that the, these roots problem with that is it's diversing a lot of the energy away from the main tubers to these like secondary roots um and like you can see there as well and it's 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 funny because at first i thought oh that's probably a good thing that you're getting more roots into the ground so the plants got you know great greater resources and things like that but i did read somewhere that actually that's not the best idea to do that in this especially in this climate because uh you want the plant putting 100 percent not 100 percent but obviously as much of its energy into the main root system as possible so you get bigger sweet potatoes um otherwise you might end up with like lots of small ones so yeah <clears throat> next year i can make sure i don't do that and um yeah, let's move on to plant number three. So here's the final sweet potato crop. So the third plant took a lot longer to dig out because the tubers were a lot deeper and they're a lot longer. Um, I don't know why actually, but uh, it's interesting. So I hope I've probably got like a kilo or a kilo and a half of sweet potatoes here. These are really, really like, uh, I can't wash them here, but um, they're like a really beautiful pink. Um, in fact, I might go wash them actually quickly, or wash one of them just to show you. 
Okay, so here is one of the sweet potatoes. I've just given a little bit of a wash and you can see it's like such a beautiful pink. Um, and the flesh is white. So it's a, it's a white fleshed pink variety. It tastes really good. I think, I, I think that I had maybe bought some sweet potatoes from like, I don't know, one of the posher supermarkets once. It might have been Waitrose or something like that. Um, and I think that I tasted them and thought, oh, this, these are amazing, I need to grow these. Which I think might have been this variety, Murasaki. So there are a couple of points to consider when thinking about if you want to grow sweet potatoes in the UK. Um, so obviously I have to say that I live in the southeast, which is one of the warmest parts. And um, it has been an exceptionally hot summer. So maybe that's why, you know, the sweet potatoes seem to have worked well for me. But um, I did, the, so they were grown outside, so I could have grown them in a polytunnel or greenhouse if I had one. Obviously that will help the plants. I could have grown them on black plastic, which I didn't. So considering those things, actually I've still, still done pretty well. And it gives kind of, I think it gives hope to people in more northerly climates. Um, you know, if you give it protection and you maybe grow it on black plastic, then you could still get a decent yield. Um, it's also got to be noted that I, I've harvested these in mid-September because obviously I'm moving my allotment plot. But um, usually you wouldn't harvest them until like the first frosts, which, you know, these could have been sitting underground for like probably another two months, like mid mid-November probably I would have dug them up if I were not needing to move my plot. So they would have had a lot more time to continue growing as well. So taking all of that into account, I think that people in the UK probably can grow sweet potatoes regardless of where you are with the right protection and leaving them for as long as possible. Um, I did plant these quite late as well actually, I think, I can't remember why, I think I got the plants late for some reason. Um, so yeah, all in all, like I'm really happy with that, I mean, not just that obviously, like the rest of them as well. Um, and I'm definitely going to be growing them next year and I'm going to be saving some of these tubers to basically start start them off. So you, you kind of put the tubers in water, you let them grow plants and then you cut the plants off, plant the plants and that's your, your new sweet potato plants. So yeah, uh, I'm quite excited for next year because I'm going to be giving them a little bit more space and obviously more time. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to get a decent crop. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll probably just post the um, the reveal of the, the small container full of sweet potatoes just after this video, so you might see that now. Um, see if I've got anything uh, in that one as well. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Lots of peace, lots of love, and I'll speak to you soon. Before the cat gets to it, I'm gonna tip it out and see what we've got inside. Okay, so you can see it's a good start actually. I was not expecting it to be that good, but you can see it's a really nice looking one here. Wow. Wow, this shows you what a greenhouse can do because I thought these would be a lot smaller than the others because of the fact it's in a tiny pot and we had a heat wave and I couldn't keep it watered. The plant like almost died quite a few times. I mean, that might be the only one in there, which would sort of <laughs> make sense, but let's just see if there are any others. You can see actually what looks like a pretty big one. Oh wow, there's quite a few. Okay, <laughs> so if you grew these in a greenhouse, in a big pot, so if you the biggest pot you could get, I reckon you'd actually do really well. I think that that is it. Yep, that's it. So I'm just gonna well, quickly so that's what we got out of the pot, which I'm really impressed with, 15 litre pot. All right guys, so here is the final sweet potato yield of this year. Um, and the dog that really wants to eat them, no. Um, so yeah, you can see here, these were from the pot. So that's from the 15 litre pot. This little tangled mess up here were the sweet potatoes that were planted in kind of in the shade on the allotment. And then these sweet potatoes were the ones I've just dug up today. Well, yeah, dug up today from the um, the main patch that I had at the allotment. So altogether, 
I don't know the weight, but I'll put it over the top of this video because I'm going to go weigh it now. Um, and I'll definitely have enough to eat and then also keep some of them for producing slips for next year. So hopefully I can get a really decent start to the season next year because I'll have them quite early. Um, you know, I won't have to wait for them to be delivered and stuff like that. You know, Izzy. Yeah, she really wants to eat one of them. Don't you? Can you get out of your eye? Is he? <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And yeah, like I said, you know, um, I am in the southeast and it has been a hot year. But if you had protection, so like in the greenhouse, if you had, uh, or, you know, polytunnel or greenhouse, uh, might even work in a conservatory, to be honest, um, if you have enough light. Um, and then you could also use black plastic to increase the heat. Um, all of these kind of things, as well as leaving them obviously a lot longer than I have, you know, you want to be harvesting them probably like late, um, late autumn, I guess. Uh, yeah, so, you know, there's a lot of things that people can do to kind of increase their chances if you don't live somewhere with a climate that I've got. Um, but yeah, so I'm really, really happy with that. Thanks so much for watching. It's been a long video, but yeah, hopefully it's been helpful or interesting. And yeah, I'll speak to you very soon.